our network connectors are an important part of the entire flow of traffic because they are the beginning and the end of everything we're sending across the network. If we have a problem with a connector, we're going to have a problem with everything that we're doing on the network. One of the challenges you have is that connectors are a point where you're having a lot of wear and tear. You're disconnecting them and connecting them a lot. And you may be in environments where you're wearing them down or breaking parts of the connection as you're using them. This is different if you have wires that are in the ceiling. You're not really connecting and disconnecting those. Once you have those in place, those don't tend to change over time. It's those connectors that you keep moving and unplugging and touching that tend to be your biggest problem. And there are many different connectors. There might be some for a serial connection, a wide area network connection you're plugging in. There's RJ45 connections you're using. So there's many places where you can have things disconnect or come unhinged on the end of your wires. If you're looking at your RJ45 cables, you want to check the connector very carefully. Do a little bit of quality assurance and make sure the person that crimped down that cable didn't do something wrong or did not crimp it in an incorrect way. A good example is if you look at a cable and there are wires missing, you may want to ask why. Generally, when you crimp an RJ45 cable and it's a Category 5 or Category 6A, then you want to be sure that all of the wires are inside of that particular cable. If they decided not to crimp those in there, that may be a sign of alarm there. You also want want to look at the sheath. You'll notice this is a cable I found on my network today. To give you an example of how the sheath could pop out of a crimped connection, and now the wires are just stuck in there and really hanging on by the end connectors that we have. If there was any stress put on this cable, it very easily would pull out each one of those connectors, and now we would have a problem with this particular connector and this wire working on our network. Make sure the lock that's also on the RJ45 cable that's supposed to click right in there is also in good shape. If there's no lock, then you can put this into a particular RJ45 port, and it will easily pop right back out again. Make sure that you check over all of your RJ45 connectors and make sure you don't have any of these types of problems so that you can keep your network running in perfect condition.